Dear Mr. Yorba, after approval of we received a message from the police department What? about the incident that happened on December 3rd during your tour, unfortunately because of this incident. Oh my God. Are you kidding me, bro? Oh my God. Well, you guys, um... As y'all know, we toured some homes a couple days ago, and at one of the homes, we had a quite a, I don't even know how to put it, quite an experience, I guess you could say, a very unusual experience, something that's never happened to me while touring a home. Um, they were all self-tours, as you guys know, and I just got an email from one of the houses that we were approved from. I think it was actually one of the houses. I that think it was the one that we vlogged at. Yeah. It was that first house that we vlogged at. The only house that we really vlogged at. We like montaged the rest of them, but we vlogged at that one. Anyways, we got approved. Hold on. We got approved for that house. But long story short, the cops got called and yada yada. yada. Where are Starbucks? I'm going to get my coffee and we're going to make this a short story long. I'm going to tell you guys everything that went down. Hi, you guys. Like I was saying. We got approved for that first house that we vlogged at. And we liked that house. Now, it wasn't our favorite. It was just one of the other ones that we got approved for. We told you guys the one that was our favorite. We told you guys the one we're going to try to get. And we told you guys we're going to apply for a couple others. So I'm not completely bummed out about this situation. But mm. I did think that it could use a story time. Because <laughs> for sure. I've never had anything like this happen to me before. I've never had an experience like this. Um, I know it's a new location that we're not from. I've never lived over there i've never lived in nevada period and i'm not judging nevada as a whole or vegas as a whole but we were at this house we were vlogging we toured it and we were getting ready to leave i was actually in the middle of changing malachi's diaper because i needed to change it so i had his diaper bag and i put the little diaper mat there to lay him on and i was just about to open his diaper and then i heard a doorbell i was like I will say we kind of made ourselves at home during our self tour at this property. And when I say that, I mean we're in the car a long time. <laughs> and speaking of being in the car, he just woke up. I think Molly just woke up. We might have to continue <laughs> the story time in the house. Anyway, like we were saying, we kind of made ourselves at home during this self tour because we were in the car for a long time. Molly needed to be changed. I had to go to the bathroom, I had to take a shit. Don't lie, we all do that. <laughs> hey, listen, don't, don't, don't judge me or don't judge us, okay? You know you toured a house before and you had to go to the bathroom and you want to make sure the toilet worked or whatever, okay? I had a shit. I didn't make a mess or nothing. I chill out. And we also had the laptop in there because I had to reply to the emails and stuff like that. And it was just easier than using my phone. And anyways, we had the laptop. We had Mally's changing station. We had me on the toilet. We were, we were in that house and we were, we were touring it and we also applied for it, you know? Yeah. But as I'm on the toilet y'all i literally shit you not no pun intended <laughs> as i was on the toilet and as i was in the middle of changing his diet <laughs> literally she, you know what i'm saying the doorbell rings and i don't really think anything of it because i don't know i thought maybe it was like someone else coming to tour because the house before that or the house actually after that we toured the house and another couple came to tour the house as well i yeah. guess they also had the key code to get in and self tour the house so i didn't think anything of it i didn't think it was you know unusual that maybe someone else was coming to tour the house as well but i ignored it because if they were coming to tour the house they'd have a key code as well right they so i'm like you know yeah i'm gonna finish my shit i'm gonna wipe etc okay don't judge me the doorbell rings again and again. I was starting to get anxiety. I was like, what is going on here? We like <laughs> You're telling me, bro, I'm on a toilet mid shit. So <laughs> once again, last time I'm going to say this, do not judge me. I get off the toilet. I'm talking pants up all of a sudden, like all of a sudden I'm getting nervous as well. Yeah. I'm yeah. thinking who's at the door. I thought maybe, because each house we toured had a ring. Mm -hmm. Like the you know the ring doorbell cameras. It had one of those. And I thought maybe the landlord saw us bringing the car seat in and the laptop yeah. and like his changing stuff and all that and they might have thought like we were bringing a little too much stuff in the house just for a self tour so I thought maybe that's who was at the door you know mm -hmm. so I started putting these pieces together in my mind so I hop off the toilet pull my pants up 
run to the kitchen where she was at. I'm like, babe, put all this stuff away. Like, I don't know who's at the door. I run to the door. I can't see who's there because the door, it has like a glass window, you know, but it was like a weird, um, a blurry, like a blurry like glass. I don't know what you yeah. call that. So I couldn't quite see. I just mm -hmm. saw a figure there, a person. I open the door. And it's just some old lady. I thought some nice old lady. With her, I believe she said it was her granddaughter, but we'll get to that in a second. And right when I opened the door, just right away, she's like, How'd you get in? I said, whoa, hold on now. Let's settle down, okay? I said, me and my fiance and our baby boy, we're touring the home right now. There's a key code on the door. You can clearly see it. I'm like, and I got the key code on my phone. I could tell she was kind of old or whatever. And I tried to explain it to her. And she dead ass just lets herself in the home. Yeah. Just walks on in. Now, honestly, you guys, this could have been a complete stranger, okay? But after she walks in and she starts like looking around and stuff, she said, yeah, I live across the street. This is my granddaughter, yada, yada, yada. I think she also said she knew the person that used to live in that house. Yeah, she did. She also said she knew the person that used to live in the house or whatever and how she always wanted to see what was inside. And she dead ass just starts touring the whole home. Literally. And I'm standing there like, Kind of, we make our way into the kitchen. I'm like looking at Lingy. I'm like, dude, what the fuck is going on? Like, I, I am I gonna get in trouble for letting this lady in? Like, is this who is this lady? Is she actually live across the street? What is going on? She had no shoes on. She literally had no shoes on. Literally had no shoes on, but she didn't look like a homeless person or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I think she just maybe was checking her mail or something with no shoes on and maybe saw us in the driveway and she knew no one lived there, so she. Anyways, long story short, you guys, she tours the house. She just starts walking around aimlessly, looking at everything and whatnot. Comes back to the kitchen where we were, packing up our stuff, trying to get the fuck out of there. I started to get sketched out because when she came into the kitchen, she like went around the island. I was like holding Mally, trying yeah, to get it. Yeah, like, back up. Yeah, yeah, no, totally, bro. It was a hella weird vibe. Like you were coming way too close and my purse was standing on the couch. I mean on the island she came by her hand was like touch my purse I was like whoa 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 like you know really weird vibes. You yeah, guys. really weird vibes Obviously like kind of after this experience. We already knew that okay We probably don't want to live here <laughs> if someone is Actually, if someone like her lives across the street like we don't want neighbors like that But let me get to the juicy stuff. Let me get to the I don't even want to say the good part. I'd say the bad part. Yeah, that's not even the worst part yet. No. So we're in the kitchen now. This lady comes back downstairs from touring the home, which I, you have to sign up for a tour online and apply and all that, you know, but she just toured it herself. Maybe I shouldn't have opened the door or maybe I should have like kind of stood in front of the door, but it's not like it was my house. Yeah, we didn't know. At least know. not yet. So she comes in the kitchen and she starts asking questions. She's like, what do you do for a living? How'd you get in the house again? How old are you? How old's your son? This and that, like all this person information and stuff yeah. and you could tell right away that she was judging us oh yeah hardcore hardcore like stereotyping me I don't know if it's the tattoos or whatever but you could tell that she thought that I didn't belong there I guess yeah. so that's kind of how it felt or that maybe we were squatting or whatever which in a way <laughs> well, I'm gonna say in a way we were squatting, but we were taking a break from our long road trip yeah. from touring houses and we decided to use the bathroom in this home and change our baby's diaper in this home. And we also applied for this home, so it's not like it was a random house, it was literally a house that we wanted to move into. And we still would want to move into to this day if it weren't for this crazy neighbor or whatever. Anyways, that's not even the juiciest part, okay? She starts stereotyping us, asking all these personal questions and whatnot. And this whole time, what's up, man? Hardcore <laughs> smiling. What? Mwah. And finally, I get her to like Lee. I wouldn't, well, I guess I didn't get her. I was just kind of, you know, trying to, trying to ignore her, trying to like, you know, doing my best to answer her questions or vaguely answer her questions and just get her out of get her out of her get her out of her lives get her out of the house but she was there for a long time she was there for probably like 10 minutes um just wandering around asking questions and 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 i mean she she started talking about some crazy shit as well which i'm not going to get into cuz there was oh. kind of some sensitive topics bro oh, it was yeah. It was a little, uh... I got a little bit, like, a lot of nervous, actually. Yeah, That's when she started mentioned. talking about those, like, yeah. yeah. We, we're not going to get into that because it is a sensitive topic. It was almost like she was hinting us. No, that's what I'm saying. She yeah. was stereotyping. She was for sure stereotyping. As if I was crazy or were crazy people when she's literally the crazy woman 
who wandered into this house when we were self-touring it with no shoes on and she, you could tell she was a little, you know. But anyway, she finally leaves. I lock the door, I run back to the kitchen, I'm like, babe, let's get the fuck out of here. Dude. Like, you know, on the lay, on the lay, on the lay, you feel me? We pack everything up and then doorbell rings again. And I'm like, oh God, dude, oh come God. on. Please just be someone else touring the home. I go back to the door, it's her again. I'm like, fucking great. But after I open the door, right away she starts asking again. She's like, How'd you get in the house again? Like you could tell she left yeah. and then thought again, hmm, maybe I should go back because they yeah. don't belong there, you know? Asks again how I got in the house, asks for the landlord's phone number who I got the code from, which I gave her. I didn't want no problems, you know what I'm saying? I was just trying to, I know I probably shouldn't have it gave any of that information out or even answered any of her questions in the first place but then because it's not in my right to, you know what I'm saying? Like we, Got the code from the landlord and we're self touring yeah. the home. I don't care who she is, I probably shouldn't have gave her the time of day realistically, but I'm just, I don't know, I feel like I'm too nice, you know, yeah. sometimes. So anyways, I give her that information stuff and then I try to, you know, get her, get her off the porch again and, and then she does, she leaves again. She's like, okay, thank you. And they, you know, she leaves. And when I say she says, okay, thank you, she was not nice, okay, yeah. don't, I'm not, Trying to make her sound nice because she was not. She was crazy. And so I close the door, run back to the kitchen. Langy's pretty much got everything packed up. We're all ready to go. And then my dad calls me. Okay. In the moment, I'm like, you know, I gotta vent to someone. I know we should probably get out of here, but I gotta vent. I pick up the phone, I start talking to him. Probably, I don't know, five, ten minutes goes by, and then the doorbell rings again. again. You were still on the phone with your dad then too. I, I was still on the phone with my dad and I'm glad I was. Yeah. But this time you guys, it wasn't necessarily her. I go to the door and this is like, ugh, my heart drops in because I'm like, I'm already thinking she's stereotyping me. I'm already thinking this lady is crazy. I should have never opened the door and let her in the house. Actually, I did not let her in the house. She walked right yeah. in, you feel yeah. me? If this was my house, if I was actually living there, that would, this, none of this would ever happen. But considering we were, you know, we were just touring a rental home, mm -hmm. it's a little different, you know? I would just want you guys to know that. I've never let no stranger in my house before and I never would. I'm very anal about even answering the door where we live right now. Not mm -hmm. that's a bad area, but I'm just, you know, I, you see things on the TV in the news and yada yada so typically i don't really even answer my door you know i'll just look at the camera mm -hmm. see who it is and proceed but this was not the case okay so i go to the door i could see through the blurry the blurry glass on the door that it's not her because it was a much darker better. figure i yeah. guess and what i mean by that is i open the door it's a sheriff <laughs> and um, for one, we're not from here, okay? So that already looks bad with the California license plate in the driveway. For two, it's a vacant home, mm -hmm. which also makes it look bad. For three, uh, go ahead. I was gonna say, if you don't know what squatters are though, squatters are people that break into like homes or like vacant homes. Vacant and, like, homes and they kind of there, make you know? themselves, yeah, make themselves yeah. at home and live there until someone ends up moving in or whatever. Yeah. So I guess, it kind of already looks bad that maybe we are squatting. Um, not that we had a ton of stuff. We yeah. had his car seat, which is what I carry him in, which I carried him into every rental. Yeah. Um, we had our laptop, which I don't think is unusual when you're looking at houses. And we had his, his diaper bag. Yeah, his diaper bag. Which, I, I mean, I guess that's a lot of stuff, but not really. Anyways, I went to the door and it's a sheriff and uh, my heart fucking drops. Um, I saw on the phone with my dad. I tell him, Dad, uh, I gotta go. Like, I just kind of froze up. Uh, yeah. I, I gotta go. Hang up. And the sheriff was like, Hi, do you own the house? And instantly I'm like, No. I'm like, In the back of my head, I'm like, No, I, I don't own the fucking house. God damn it. She called the cop. Like, damn. I'm just like freaking out in my head. Langy peeks around the corner. She's in the kitchen. I look at her. I'm like, Just, 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 stay you know, back. just stay, just <laughs> stay there. I'll handle this. And I just told him, you know, as much as I was like super nervous, and I'm sure he could tell, I told him, I'm like, No, me and my fiance. She's holding Malachi, which I feel like makes it look a little better. Shout out to Malachi. Shut um, not that we were doing anything illegal, you no. know. It's just nervous because we're from not We're not the from area. there and we are in a vacant house and I don't know her relationship with the cops. Yeah. I uh, Hopefully they realize that she's crazy. I have no idea, you guys. Yeah. I don't even know if she met him yet or what. You know, she obviously called in. So I just basically, you know, told him, no, well, you know, me and my fiance, we're touring the home. We're from out of state and we're touring a bunch of homes in the air right now because we're moving here this month. And I just like kind of explained everything. Luckily, he was super nice. Yeah, um, super understanding. So yeah, super understanding. I also explained to him or I asked him kind of, I was like, I don't know if it was some lady who called in. 
but there was this lady yeah. who said she lived across the street. I kind of tried to make her out to be a little crazy so he could see like where I'm coming from. But I told him, I basically told him everything and I said, do you want to come in? Like, you know, and he didn't even ask to come in. So, you know, that was a relief. A relief too, but the moral of this story is we got approved for the house, then got later declined for that, if that's even how you put it, declined for the house because of this whole thing. So I guess he ended up, or someone at the police department contacted the landlord, which is actually a big company who owns a yeah. lot of houses, and they somehow got word of this, I'm not even gonna call it an incident because it's not even an incident, Yeah. you know? But the, yeah, I guess because of that, they thought that maybe we were, we did something wrong. Or maybe and it was hers. They're like, oh, they, these people are squatting in your home or something I have, like that. Yeah, dude, I have no idea. But all I know is I have this email now, which I was reading earlier. And it basically says that we got declined for the home because... I mean, police were involved when we were touring the home. I'm like, bro, this is crazy. Like, we didn't do nothing. I was, we were literally just touring the home, bro. So, obviously, I'm not, like, mad at it because we, after that incident, there's no way we're moving no. there anyways because, like, who wants to live next to some lady who... Said that she lives across the street. Or right? called the cops on us. Like, why would I, you know, what would happen if we moved into the house? Like, you know. She comes over uninvited all the time. All the time, like, calling the cops for no, like, I don't do, she was crazy. She was crazy. It was clearly a sign that that house was not for us. The biggest sign. So. I, don't think, I don't think you can get more of a sign <laughs> to not move into a house than that. Yeah, because you really love that house, too. I did. I, like, that was probably my favorite house. Um... I know, I know we, you know, we told you guys the other ones we liked and stuff like that. And Langy likes some of the other ones a lot more than this one. But to be honest, I really like this one, bro. This one had like three living rooms and shit, bro. Like this one, it was a big, it was a big, nice house. Yeah. Um, and I thought the area was okay too. But, <laughs> but this, man, this, this canceled everything out. So I'm not even mad at it, bro. But that's, I mean, the fact that... We did get declined because of that. I just thought it was kind of funny. And I and I thought since we're updating you guys on everything, like why not tell you guys what happened after we picked up the camera? But <laughs> that's so crazy that after we picked up the camera, this is what happened. Like you guys saw us touring the house and like talking in the house, but you guys didn't see what happened right after. Dude, I told her too when she was asking me what we did and stuff. Mm -hmm. I told her we were YouTube. I mean the camera was right there too. Yeah. I told her we did YouTube, which she didn't understand, you know, she's, she's, I don't want to say old, because no offense to old people, you know, but I feel like some people just don't understand yeah. social media compared to others, and she was one of those people, she didn't understand it, she was clearly stereotyping me, um, and I don't get stereotyped often, that's something I like about living in LA, mm -hmm. is it's so diverse, and your appearance doesn't really matter out here no matter what you look like but obviously it seems like maybe nevada is a little different <laughs> i don't know or maybe i should say parts in nevada again i don't live in nevada and i'm not saying anything towards people that live in nevada but i'm just saying we had a crazy experience in nevada looking at a house now we're still moving to nevada and we got approved on a couple of houses a couple other houses and we'll keep you guys updated on that depending on which one we choose lock in sign the lease all that but um this one's out it's not going to be this one. <laughs>